and was able to get those two quick ones. Looked like that was, ooh, a near opportunity there. Jack Horvath couldn't receive the pass early on, and now he is very nearly putting that one in. Wound up with a smile on their face, heading into that final intermission. And now here's Cruz Lucius, his fingerprints are all over yesterday's game. You can see why right there, Bischel covering it up. Yeah, I expect that to continue here as well. Especially with the way yesterday's game went. Notre Dame probably a lot of frustration. Here's a chance for Wisconsin right off the bat and very nearly won nothing. But they really had further opportunities to add on in the early goings. Some that were off the post. That one sent at McClellan who ends up bouncing out to the far corner. Yeah, talk about Owen Lindmark who's missing today's game. I'm sure Wisconsin hopes he's not out long term. He then leads their team in goals. Incredible shot percentage over 17% as that shot's high in the air and much sustained pressure yet for the Badgers at all on the power play and that's been an issue. Wisconsin a little lethargic here bringing this puck down the ice. Tassi trying to generate a chance, a nice pass and an excellent save, Ryan Bischel. A fighting Irish defender from the puck there. First round pick from Minnesota. The, the talent is definitely there, you can see him, he just got that look about him. He's getting another shot from Wisconsin, a rebound chance. Never quite had all seven perfectly in the top 20. Now Notre Dame trying to go to work. That one fed inside by Drew Bavaro. He's got it once again at the point. Sang it in once again. Nice save by McClellan. Rebound leaks out. They're certainly more than capable of climbing their way out of it. Not an elite offense, just under three goals off per game. Here's a chance for Wisconsin off a botched defensive possession. He mentions the streaky squad. They won four straight before losing game two to Minnesota. And off the turnover, Notre Dame firing. Justin Janicki playing it back to Bavaro. Now Wisconsin tries to clear it. Nice play there from Bavaro to knock that one out of the air. Irish back side. Here's a one-timer opportunity. The lots are taken away. Janicki, a nice move to try and send it back out, but watch. Uh-oh, loose in front of the crease and an excellent save by McClellan. Bounce there, you'll see that one go right off the stick. And there's Carpenter all alone out front. And McClellan again. There's Carpenter trying to chase down the puck. Instead, it's Wisconsin on the move. Carson Bannel slicing and taking a shot. Loose in the crease. Wisconsin there taking away and trying to stuff it in. That one zipped around a decent foul. Lucia trying to get a touch on it. This one sent to the top. Dex never thought about firing, now leaving it to, Dush or to Lucius. Back to the top, Celia fires. Now for Wisconsin's Cruz Lucius, so great those centering passes, that's saying it backed out. The other way, Luce, Lucius, oh he had a look, too much air underneath it. Now it's worked its way out to Bavaro, Bavaro catching up to it there. No one to center it to, a nice spin, and there's her centering pass. Kyle McClellan earning another save. Getting some help from his defense as well. There's another look, and McClellan just obviously in good position there. Yep, not a lot of juice on that. Other team in Wisconsin to go down and the full 200 feet and try to enter the zone, which they've done a really bad job with today. That one inside, Tassie tried to put it in, but took a big hit from behind by Jake Boltman. Tassie dumping the fish jail back to Palatichuk. Sends it to the left wing this time. And a nice defensive play, for Gerald able to Get the rebound. Now we have another shot. That one in the glove of Bishop. Vacate for leaving it to D. St. Fowl. There's Dexheim from the left side. Of. That one zipped through the crease harmlessly. Cole Knubel has it. Now sending it back to see him. He's been the commander of this power play attack. Knubel again with the shot. Nice save made by McClellan. But a chance to move up that rank. You have to think the, the voters do a very good job contextualizing the records of these teams. So if you're 500 in the Big Ten, they'll recognize that and vote accordingly. Take the another Irish. look here. Horbach's right in his grill. And sure, this is all. Quinn Philly through defender, dropping it off to D. St. Fowl, will turn and send it back out. That's Warlick, he's sending it down. That's Quinn Finley once again. Finley tries to spin, loose in the slot. Entering the zone, Finley might have had him cutting in. A little with both Michigan, or excuse me, both Notre Dame defenders moving towards Finley, and you had Fitzgerald moving the other way. 